nothing in this anime makes any sense. Like, multiverse. They're bringing in a multiverse theory. I'm just sitting there going, stop it right now. Just cut it. <laughs> stop. You don't need this. I don't need this. Don't... No, because even when you try to explain it, Daisy, that multiverse theory makes no effing sense. I mean, for every single wish that's created, like, kind of granted, other worlds get created, and inside that world, more minds are created, so it just kind of, it's like an infinite loop of different things that's going on in that world. And you kind of find out the gate's actually the mental state world, and then the world we live in, like, they living, I guess, is actually where your heart and soul is, but the minds exist in another plane. That's what Genai was saying. I was like, Genai, with your flashy-ass eyebrows, you got to get out of this anime because you don't deserve to exist at all, because, God, fucking hell. My brain was hurting. I was just like, y y y stop. You're going to bring in a multiverse for in episode 9. The very penultimate episode of Big Turd, you're bringing in a multiverse for You don't understand the gravitational pull of crap. You're going to pull with that kind of theory right freaking now. It's just like, it's like saying, okay, good example. Here's another example. You're only seen Spectator, Spectre, not Spectator, Spectre, do not watch it, it's a terrible film, but... The whole theory when Christoph Waltz says, I'm actually the cause of your entire misfortune. It was like, wait a second. That makes no sense. In a sense, you just can't say, and you just can't sit there and say, I did all of this without ever being mentioned. The same thing goes with this. You can't just bring a multiverse theory with never, it never ever being mentioned. I thought to myself, what? How? Nani? Care? What? I don't. I just. I don't. And then in the end, Senna actually stabs Eiji because she remembers everything. She remembers actually she's the root cause of the like kind of great destruction. I thought to myself, what? And then that's where the that's where it ends. Literally, it's where it ends. It ends on him getting stabbed. I was like, okay, is is his Joe's thoughts of that scene? You can't just go and kill off the MC straight away. Though he felt that, and since he actually felt that stab, since he had his arm chopped off, his leg chopped off, didn't feel a thing. Got stabbed by Senna. He felt it. I was like. This makes no sense. It's like, how can you not feel getting your arms chopped off or your legs chopped off, but you get felt, you feel getting stabbed? I was just like, ah, oh, god damn it. And then, yeah, Eo and Eo and AG bang almost, and AG's all like, Senna! Then it stops because she, he's all like, she, she's the only one I've got, and then she's, he, I'm the only one she's got, and then, so, and then I guess Eo's all like. Well, fracking hell, mate. I was gonna bang you right now, but now I can't because you just said that. Like, I, I, I just this is gonna be awkward. I just can't. Like, s mate, you just killed the entire mood. And then, yeah, lucky. I mean, lucky it stopped at that one scene because it carried on. I think I might have lost faith in humanity at all because it was going places. So I was just like, no, please stop it. I, I put up with a sex scene in Future Diary, which was less gratuitous than the anime. I think it's more gratuitous than the manga, but still, put up with that. I put up. You like a baby sucking my nipples. I put up with that one line, which kind of killed everything I had in Guarantee. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna stand to see EO and AG bang. I was just, and, no. So then, kind of at that point, was okay. But I swear in the manga, I did read on a little bit. I read to this actual chapter, and since I read to the actual chapter of the episode, and I actually, if I remember correctly, EO gets pregnant at the end of this ep at the end of the ma at manga chapter. What happens is I swear AG actually touches the ribbons again. And actually, gets pregnant. So that happens in the manga, but it doesn't happen in the anime. But a lot of things happen in the, in the manga that happen in the anime. I mean, Orochimaru has a backstory in the in the manga. Orochimaru has no backstory in the anime. I thought to myself, what? What's going on here? It's like, you just, too many things are happening. And it's just like, Seiya is now finding out she's a root cause of the big ass great destruction. And then she's all like, oh no, I'm the root cause of all this, aren't I? And then Gena's all like, yes, you are. <laughs> Standing in the corner of his flashy ass eyebrows, just like, uh, yes, I'm the one that created the the big orders. Well, you're the one that caused the destruction. Which is like, I don't want, it's like, I guess Avatar to create this episode as well, in a sense, that was one thing that just came out of left field, like literally. I was like, okay, so you explain the fact that it's actually now Avatar. So I'm guessing Avatar's are the things that want, don't want you to remember everything, but then again, I was all like, remember everything, and then. Senna remembers everything, and then she turns into, and then she kind of gets out of her suit and gets into this gratuitous kind of suit. I was like, okay, and then yeah, AJ gets stabbed. I was like, no, no, stop. After you're gonna explain the multiverse theory, you're probably gonna d ditch that compl entire plot point within ten seconds. Like, that's am gonna be explained every, and because I was sitting in the, I was sitting on the bus on the way home from my college, and I was sitting there going, 
Whatever happened to the atomic um, bomb girl, and since I like, actually couldn't stop atomic bombs or nuclear bombs or something like that, whatever happened to her, she was saved, never mentioned. But then you kind of get the whole Imodo relationship with AG and Senna as well. That's the whole other thing that kind of really got with me. Because Rin, she goes to Rin goes, you can't have him because AG's all mine. I was like, no. Stop. Cut. No. Stop it. Just, no. Just stop it now. And then Rin manages to get out of those clasps by actually ripping her skin off, which... If I remember correctly, would cause a lot of pain. Even though she's immortal, don't get me wrong, but it would cause a lot of pain. I said she really just can't hold the sword after that. Said, she's actually immortal. I get that. Like she can just get stabbed and just come back up and go. You know what, fam? I'm here back. I'm back here now, fam. And then yeah, she can do that. But this still makes no sense how she managed to get out of that whole entire situation and not feel any pain. She just completely just got out of fight and then holding the sword and goes again. I was like, you can't do this. And then Gena's all like, bam, and then throws off the edge and then. She's gone. And then Hiragi's kind of just going in. And then Io is saying, like, we could have banged, mate. And then we didn't bang, so I'm pretty pissed off right now. And since I didn't have my child, so get your facts together, mate. Is it me or Senna? Is it me or Senna? Or I'm going to leave you right now. And since it's like, you're literally going to turn into a Jerry Springer episode by the end of this anime. Literally, it's going to be a Jerry Springer episode because I have no idea anymore. I just, when they brought the multiverse for you, and I was like, what? And so it's, it's episode 9. You can't just do that. You can't just go, yeah, multiverse, mate. You can't just do that. It doesn't work like that. Something like that has to be explained at least episode 5. Hint of that. Then we episode 6, explore it. And then later on, just like, uh, you know what, multiverse theory, you are fam. You can't just go and say multiverse theory now. Unless it was actually re referenced, I just completely missed it. I'm not too sure, but do I really care? I, I don't. Because it sounded so freaking bad. I'm actually losing hope. I'm actually just got to the point where nothing makes sense anymore. I just go outside and people walk past and I'm like, order, big order. And everyone's all like, what are you talking about? And they're like, you just don't know. You just don't know. That's the main thing, again, just people just don't know. People have not experience a big order, just they know the amount of crap. I guess all of us that are watching anime get put through because really this is like mass poop on a stick. Literally, I just, I just kind of sat there and go, please just stop with that sex scene. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It was getting to a point. I was just like, yo, don't do it. Don't, don't put it there. Stop. Because I don't want to say this. I mean, the, I mean, the Future Diary one was enough. I don't want to see another one. And it just stopped. I was like, thank you, God. I mean, they got to the point where it could have been almost hentai. I was like, well, it's hentai little plot. Makes no sense still, but I mean, most hentais have better plots, but still. What do I know? I'm sitting here <laughs> just trying to get to the end because I've only got one more week to go, and it's all over. And I'm actually can now finally say I finished the train wreck. So yeah, I'm gonna go have a deep lie down, probably gonna go watch some Cowboy Bebop, I wrote Outlaw Star to remind myself there is good anime in this world. So yes. With all that said, I've been the driver. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help quite a bit. If you enjoyed my content as a whole, leave a sub. It does also help me quite a lot. But with all that said, I've been the driver. I'm going to have a light, massive lie down because this animal is going to kill me one day. And I'll see you later.